Hey, Star Wars action figure collectors, this is Darth Phoenix 619 coming at you with my top 20 Star Wars action figures. And this is actually a, a response uh, to The Forces with Jesse's uh, top 20 Star Wars figures that he uploaded a, um, yesterday. So, And uh, I wanted to do a video response, so I thought it was a great idea. I did a top 20 Star Wars figures um, video about eight months ago. And it was a short um, video that had various pictures that I took of my top 20 with some music set behind it. So I thought it would be great to do kind of an update to that video. And uh, I'll leave a link if you want to check that out um, in the description or on the, on the video itself. But he, uh, the forces of Jesse did something a little bit different. He has a different format that he used. And I wanted to use that that same format. So this is my top 20 uh, using the format that he did. So what he did was uh, two figures from each of the movies. So that's a total of 12. He uh, did two Expanded Universe, two from the Clone Wars series, and four Honorable Mention, which brings the total to 20. So uh, really wanted to do the same. And uh, it was kind of difficult in, in, in some aspects in regards to a couple of the movies. It was really difficult to find two figures. Uh, overall, most of my top 20 are Expanded Universe, um, mo mainly Sith and clones. So it was really kind of challenging in, in some aspects to find two characters from each of the different you know, movies and, and, and series. So, But I did, and I'm happy with what I chose. And, and some of them are actually very similar to what Jesse has. So we have similar tastes. So. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy. Um, this may take a while, but I'll try not to make it too long. And, uh, you know, uh, please sub to Jesse. He's a great guy. I mean, most of you guys are. And, you know, do video response to his, to his video. We'd definitely like to see what uh, figures would be in your top 20. Okay, so starting off with the Phantom Menace, my first figure is Rumsleg from the Legacy Collection. And um, just a great character. We briefly see him in a scene right before the pod race begins. And he's just a fantastic figure. He was also in my top 28 months ago. And what I really like about him is just this design, his overall look. Uh, great head sculpt, you know, kind of looks like Jesse. Oops, there he goes. Um, not Jesse, uh, Jason, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, the mask on looks very cool. And just the overall look and, and the little details and the accessories are great just a wonderful looking guy so there you go his backpack flew off <laughs> so his rocket pack which is really awesome great paint job on this guy uh, my second is Aura Singh uh, from um, the Discover the Force vintage collection and I just really really like the detail on this figure I mean she's one of my favorite characters and you know we do briefly see her in the Phantom Menace but that little scene just has made a huge impact on the Star Wars community she has so many fans just amazing accessories her sniper rifle her blaster pistols the suitcase the extra lightsabers uh, the detail on the hair to me is one of the best aspects of this figure great facial sculpt too sorry about the lighting so this Aura Singh fantastic figure attack of the clones is next now this one was really difficult for me most of my attack of the clone figures are jedi and uh but i was able to find my favorite jedi of my figures now he's actually not one of my favorite jedi characters but the figure is outstanding kayati mundi from the 2005 revenge of the sith line and this guy is fantastic i mean he has pretty good articulation for the most part i mean he does have your swivel elbows but just amazing like his facial sculpt to me is one of the best facial sculpts in the entire star wars line just fantastic get this out of the way so it can focus a little bit better there we go really like the um robe kind of has a jacket look to it soft goods just really amazing figure but mostly it's the head sculpt that does it for me great great figure especially for its time. He definitely needs an update though. And then uh, one of my top 20 from back in June, the Royal Guard Vintage Collection. Amazing figure. The soft goods, the robes, um, 
combination of blues is fantastic. I think that it flows really nicely. A lot of people were disappointed with the recent Royal Guard um, and, and the robes, the way they flow, and really would have liked it to have been similar to the um, Senate Guard. And just an amazing, amazing figure. Um, the helmet, the paint job, and then of course underneath the robes you have this amazing detail of the armor. Fantastic figure, one of my top favorites overall. Just a great, great figure. Okay. Uh, next we have Revenge of the Sith, which was also kind of a difficult one because most of my Revenge of the Sith is actually probably, of all the movie lines, um, the figures I have the most of are in that, in my Revenge of the Sith collection, and mainly because they're clones mostly. <laughs> so of course my top two are clones. So first we have Commander Gree who I just, you know, he's one of my favorite characters. Really different from all the other clone commanders. Um, what I really like about this guy is the paint job. Just an amazing paint job. You got this weather look, the camouflage looks great. Uh, wonderful helmet, amazing articulation. I mean, it really looks like this guy's been through the jungle. The forests of Kashyyyk. And then of course you got your removable helmet. And the face isn't all that great but just the helmet and the amount of detail and the paint applications on this guy. Fantastic, amazing figure. Doesn't hurt that green's my favorite color too, so. <laughs> and then of course, to go along with him, one of my uh, top 20 from back in June, the Kashyyyk Trooper. I mean, this, this figure's amazing. I know a lot of people really like this clone. It tends to go for a hefty price on eBay, but this amazing articulation, um, this is from the the 30th anniversary collection just a great great figure and the Gree was from the vintage collection but I think he was a repack really like the way his helmet flips up like that I mean the paint job on this guy is outstanding perfect weathering would love to have more of these but they tend to go for like I said a high price so there we have the Kashyyyk Trooper outstanding figure Okay, now we go on to the original prequel, uh, re the original trilogy, uh, starting with uh, episode four. And let's see, where are my episode four? Now this one was probably the hardest to choose from because I only have about eight figures or so. And uh, I mean, the, my first choice for the, f the movie was the easiest, which was the vintage, uh, uh, the vintage collection Santa Trooper that was just released from the Lost Line. I mean, I've talked praise about this figure many a times on various videos one of my top five vintage collection figures i mean the wet the weathering the articulation the accessories the pad pack the little probe droid that comes with him he's he's fantastic i mean what, what else can you say the weathering really makes this figure pop fantastic figure the second figure it took me a while i mean to choose from what i had and I ended up going with Grand Moff Tarkin from the recent Vintage Collection uh, release, mainly due to its head sculpt. Just like Kaidi Mundi, I feel that Grand Moff Tarkin has one of the best um, facial sculpts of all the Vintage Figure Collections. Of all the figures in general, I should say. The sunken cheeks, the, the, um, the uh, eyes, I mean, just looks so much like the actor portrays him, whose name has just slipped my mind. I really like the color of the outfit, though some people say it may not be screen accurate, but not a big deal to me. Still not a fan of the soft good skirt, but that facial sculpt really makes the figure. So there he is, Grand Moff Tarkin. Okay, Empire Strikes Back was an easy one to choose from. I chose two that were my top 20 back uh, last year, and still are two of my favorite figures. Uh, Bounty Hunters, of course. One being Dengar, another outstanding facial sculpt. Great weathering on this guy. I mean, fantastic weathering. Just an amazing looking figure. Doesn't get the credit he deserves. Um, great accessories that the backpack just looks fantastic. I mean, even this part looks like actual cloth, even though it's hard plastic. And uh, yeah, just a great, great head sculpt, you know? Slightly better than Targon's, I feel. I mean, you couldn't have done better than this. So, Dengar. Fantastic figure. And then I might be biased about my next one, but 
you know, of course, we have Boba Fett from the VOTC. Um, I, this is my very first Star Wars action figure that I ever got. Before I started getting really serious about collecting, I you know I bought a few figures back in 2004 or so. And this was the first one I ever bought from the VOTC. And this mold has been used numerous times, and I don't blame them. It's a, it's a great mold. Wonderful articulation. Fantastic paint applications. The dents and, and the weathering on the helmet and the chest plate are fantastic. I mean, I mean he's my favorite character, so... But I think he's an outstanding, outstanding figure. Got the soft goods little cape there. Just a wonderful, fantastic figure. No removable helmet on this guy. So there you have VOTC Boba Fett. Next was uh, Return of the Jedi. And uh, my first figure was an easy overall pick, which most of you I know love out there. The Gamorrean Guard. I mean, what else is there to say? <laughs> I won't even say much about him. He's, he's wonderful. Okay. And the second one was really difficult. So I kind of was thinking about the deleted scenes one, the Lando Calrissian, but then I really wanted to make be a character from the actual movie itself. So I went with Luke in his, um, I think it's called Endor. No, what was it? Endor Escape, or I forget the name of it. Not Endor Escape. Endor Capture. And uh, I really like this figure. I, I would, he's my favorite Luke. Really like the head sculpt. Um, you know, just he just looks so so noble, just so kick butt in this black outfit. At the same time, it's a simple outfit, simple design, good articulation, and then just a wonderful head sculpt. He just, I think, it's classic Luke, and I think that's why he's one of my favorites. Okay. All right, so now let's do uh, Clone Wars series. Another figure that I had chosen last year is one of my top favorites, and that is Commander Fox. Um, my favorite clone figure overall. He um, just, I really like him. I know he was seen in the movie, not so much the um, series, but I definitely wanted to choose him. The color on him, fantastic, kind of a maroon red. The Coruscant symbol on the chest, nicely applied, looks fantastic. No removable helmet, just you know, some great articulation. Um, you know, you got your ball hinge wrists. What more could you ask for? Fantastic figure. Amazing, amazing paint applications on this guy. Okay, and then of course, uh, my favorite Clone Wars character, period, and just a fantastic figure overall. Another one of my top picks from last year is Embo. Continues to be one of my favorite figures. To me, this could be a vintage collection figure. I think he could pass off for a realistic figure. Um, his design, the way he looks, is outstanding. Um, the shield, the dents, the weathering, just the soft goods great articulation I mean the figure is fantastic fantastic character just overall an amazing figure and he just really looks great lined up along any of your realistic looking figures so there's Embo alright now on to uh, expanding universe I'm, I'm a big Sith fan as most of you know so and I'm just a big fan of EU figures so um, but it was easy to choose my favorite too. First, we have Star Killer, my number one pick last year, and still my favorite figure overall in all my collection. Amazing figure from the um, Forces Unleashed pack, Vader's Apprentice. Just so kick butt. I mean, the detail, the lightsabers, the soft goods, um, the overall design of of the character. Fantastic, great articulation. Um, that helmet looks so intense. Actually, the first figure I reviewed. <laughs> I think Jesse said it was one of his first two. I think just amazing appeal. Fantastic figure. And then my second choice is also a Sith character that I had received, got 
mm, a few months after I did my top 20 and this I love this guy and that is uh, Lord Malaval. I mean his presence is just he screams Sith Lord I mean the chess piece right there I mean that's that's great that's fantastic the eye and, and then the way the soft goods plays against the soft plastic it's great um, the red paint apps and the Sith tattoos great facial sculpt uh, great accessories you get the whip the lightsaber and then his um, of course his cape is has the wire on the bottom oops sorry about that and on the top here we saw that in Malgus, so you can form it around his, his body. And look at that. And just the silhouette of the characters is fantastic. Such a great, great character. It's too bad he's so expensive. But just an amazing character. And great articulation, too. Really good articulation. So there's my Lord Malaval. And then my honorable mention. So I'll start off with the movies. This is really hard. Also, another. But uh show some figures that I really like. Uh, one Ayla, um, one that many fans were definitely looking forward to getting, and uh, she what really makes her pop out, in my opinion, is the facial sculpt. You know, like a lot of these figures I chose just because of their facial sculpts, because to me, they look exactly like the character seen in the movies. And once again, you got great articulation with her, the ball hinged hips, and just the. Uh, the soft plastic on there looks fantastic. It really looks like leather and just an overall great looking figure. Okay. Fantastic looking figure. And then um, two of my favorite figures overall are the IG-88 Lancer Droid and IG-86, I think it is. can't remember the number, but the Lancer Droid from the Clone Wars series and IG-88 himself. Another one that I think Jesse had chosen. Well, he did choose, I should say, because he mentioned me. <laughs> and uh, there he is. Just, I mean, the detail that went into this guy, Hasbro did themselves with this. Amazing articulation. And, and you see that in the IG Lancer droid, too. Except in black with a few added extras. But, I mean, wow. And the, the, the paint tabs, you know, all the different sort of metal tones to it copper and brass and you know just just different kinds now this isn't the gun he comes with but I'm just an amazing head sculpt too I mean really intricate detail there on IG-88 uh, Clone Wars series I went with uh, Kato Parasiti I could be saying that wrong I really love this figure I love posing her I, I really like just displaying her having in, in these really cool just type bounty hunter type poses and I just really like the look of this character some good articulation um, very original design you know she's got the really cool mask with the little uh, paint tabs there and just a really creepy looking facial sculpt she looks good either way and I really really like this figure one of my favorites definitely for sure okay and then finally my from the expanded universe I went with um, it's really hard, but I, I went with one of my top 20 from last year, and it's the Yoda Kai Buck. I'm not sure if this is cheating because it's two figures in one, but my favorite Yoda overall with his um, outfit from the Clone Wars animated micro series from back in 2003, and then just the Kaiba itself and him on it oh, it just looks so cool. My favorite beast, you know, this is from the 30th anniversary collection, and it's just an amazing, amazing set. These figures are one, you know, in my opinion. Really, really like this guy. So, there it is, you guys. Um, hope you've enjoyed, and you know, this video took a while, but um, hope you've enjoyed watching, and um, would really like to see what you guys think. Check out the Forces of Jesse video and, and do a video response. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video, taking a look at my top 20 figures from, from the various movies and um, uh, Expanding Universe and Clone War series. And um, hope to come at you soon with another review. And until then, you guys, may the Force be with you.